Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. For the community, by the community. Yes, good afternoon. Um, my name is Lucy Ochaki. I'm with West Hartford in Farmington Continuing Education. And I run a little operation called a Tours by Design, which for purposes of this show is called Tours by Lucy. And I've been with the Continuing Ed program here in West Hartford for 20 years now. And I run trips out of the school system under Continuing Education. And we do lovely trips um, in and around the area. I specialize in day trips um, in Boston, New York, Newport, New York State. And this is the first taping of 2017. So I have an exciting program to share with you today. And I uh, appreciate your taking the time to listen. I have um, a wonderful uh, schedule of tours that I will go over with you. And I'll give you some information about contacting the program at the end of the show, which you can register in person, online, by check, by credit card. We make it very, very easy for you to come to uh, take our trips. And one of the most important things I think about the travel that we do with the Continuing Ed program is having a lot of fun. And we offer what I call daycations. We go away for a day, enjoy the uh, activity, and come back. We have a shot of big city life in New York City. We go to historic Boston. We go to Newport for flower shows. Uh, we find interesting day trips along the way to bring you to. And I've met some wonderful folks uh, both in this town and around. You don't need to be a West Harbor resident to take these trips. Uh, there is no uh, obstacle whatsoever for you to uh, take this trip with us. We are welcome folks from all over and uh, enjoyed meeting all of you over the years. And I have uh, what I call my regulars who sign up for my trips and I enjoy seeing them and having them bring their friends. And really, it's a great experience uh, for single folks. Uh, we're not uh, limited to seniors. All ages are welcome to all our trips and uh, we enjoy uh, multi-generational trips like ball games. We have art uh, aficionados come to New York with us. Uh, I do food shopping trips to New York City. We have flower shows such as the Newport Flower Show that we offer. So I'm going to run down some dates with you and they'll give you an idea of the scope of what we do. And the registration is open now uh, just to let you know. And I'll give you the number for registration, which is 860-561-6900. And that's the direct line to register. You can register online at whlifelearn.org. And you can click on Continuing Education. And you can see the full menu of trips that we have. And I'll also leave with you my phone number um, in case you're interested in uh, finding out more information about a particular trip. It's 860-305-8762. Again, it's 860-305-8762. And my email is toursbydesign at gmail.com, which is T-O-U-R-S-B-Y-D-E-S-I-G-N at gmail.com. So please call me anytime for any questions. The first uh, trip that we have, which is available for registration in April, is the Freedom Tower in New York City. And this was the tower that was built uh, in place of the World Trade Center. And we've had trips to both the Freedom Tower and the 9-11 Memorial Museum since they have been built. And the Freedom Tower is a 60 second quick ride to the top of the 105th floor with a beautiful view of the harbor, a Statue of Liberty. The area has been built up with great shops and restaurants. And it is near St. Paul's Chapel, which is very crucial to the day of 9-11 and that the uh, responders stayed there for six months while they were working the pile after the event. The Freedom Tower um, entitles you to a view, beautiful view and a tour 
up at the Freedom Tower. And you also have an opportunity on this trip to visit the 9-11 Memorial, which is very close by. It is an open air plaza. And what you can do is go in, you can see the names of those who uh, perished that day along two reflecting pools. The North Tower, the base of the North Tower and the South Tower are now reflecting pools. And it is a beautiful venue in that there's a, a lot of really beautiful uh, streaming water, which is very peaceful and serene. And all the names of those uh, who perished that day are along the North and South walls. Uh, the museum is nearby. We offer a trip to the museum in October, in the fall. And what it does is it chronicles that day. Uh, the trip includes admission to the museum at a particular time. And you can spend time on your own. Uh, we recommend about two and a half to three hours at the museum. And it has mementos, it has films of that day, audio recordings, uh, memorial, uh, uh, memorial wall that shows the pictures of everyone and information about their backgrounds, and also a, a, a really wonderful audio of those um, in remembrance of those who perished that day. So it is really a, a peaceful and serene a visit to the museum, and the memorial is a, a lovely place to spend uh, quiet time. So we offer that in both April and October. And in May of uh, this year, we will do a trip to Boston on your own. It is on a Sunday, which is a really nice day to spend um, in a museum, such as the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston or the Gardner Museum, which are side by side in the Fenway. Uh, we can visit both on one day. It's a, a very busy day or spend the entire day at, ETH, at either of them. Uh, the MFA is one of the finest collections of art um, in the Northeast, if not the country. And the, and the Gardner Museum is a, a very uh, special place in that uh, Mrs. Gardner was a grand dame of Boston society and uh, traveled the world and collected art. And uh, the museum has left the art uh, in the same place where she designated. So if you've been there five years ago, 10 years ago, the art is still there, we're in its place. It is a beautiful, uh, has a beautiful courtyard, has a beautiful tour. And uh, on Sunday afternoons, there are beautiful concerts uh, from the conservatory and the Berkeley College of Music students uh, perform um, at the museum in their beautiful music room. So that is something you can do in Boston. You can walk the Freedom Trail. Uh, the spot where we drop you off um, in the waterfront area is between the North End and the downtown area. And uh, you can walk the Freedom Ta Trail that day. You can visit the North End. For Italian goodies, uh, what I do is I, I lived in downtown Boston for 10 years, so I have a lot of great places to share with you, local places, uh, beautiful cafes, restaurants, uh, shops you might visit in the North End. Um, there is the Old State House, which has wonderful uh, tours. There is the New State House, which is up on Beacon Hill, which is now the seat of government, which has tours. You may visit the beautiful Back Bay area, area and you may visit the the Boston Public Library has a great tour. Um, you also can, if there is a ball game, there is time within this trip to, uh, if the Red Sox are in town, you can uh, visit Fenway Park. You can visit the Fenway. You can hop on the subway, go over to Cambridge also. That's another option for uh, the Boston on your own. It is, um, Harvard Square has some fantastic Harvard museums that you may visit and also they do a walking tour of Harvard Yard uh, that you may visit. And a lot of the, the wonderful part about Harvard Yard is not uh, suitably unchanged over the years. So if you've been a few years back, uh, you know, welcome back. You could certainly do that. And so I give you a lot of interesting uh, sites that you may visit. You can take a harbor cruise, you can take a whale watch, um, you can go to the Institute of Contemporary Art on the waterfront. And that will give you a great view of, of, of everything that is happening, of Boston is being, again, really built up. So it's changed a lot in, in a great way. So you can certainly do that on your own. Also, we pick up and drop off near Haymarket, which is the wonderful uh, vendor uh, with produce, uh, which has great buys. And uh, you can pick up some goodies uh, for the way home. And also on May 13th, uh, I run a wonderful trip to New York City called the Foodie Trip. And I've been doing this trip for years based on my love of shopping food in New York City. And we go to the wonderful store called Zabar's on the Upper West Side. 
and we go to Little Italy and Chinatown. We spend a fair amount of time there, and this year we've extended that part of our trip a bit to um, be able, you to be able to visit the Lower East Side. There's some great shops there uh, that are very visitable on Saturdays, and you can certainly do a whirlwind of those three neighborhoods, but there's some great stores on Grand Street, some great old Italian stores. You may do some great shopping, and uh, Chinatown has some great uh, stores such as uh, Come On on Canal Street, which is the busiest shopping uh, Asian, Asian grocery store, I think, in the Northeast. It has um, all sorts of Asian goods. So I'll give you some great places to stop. There's a wonderful Spanish store nearby called the Spania on Broom Street, where you can pick up Spanish specialties, uh, ham, cheese, chocolates, uh, sherry vinegar, chocolates. They have a wonderful tapas bar in back you might visit. And so we have a real jam-packed jam day of really great places to stop uh, on our foodie trip. In the fall, um, on November 4th, we visit the Union Square Green Market, which is um, a market that has been in operation for over 30 years in the city. And they have uh, vendors from about six states who come on a regular basis. And it's a great place to pick up your Thanksgiving vegetables at one particular stand called Peff and Roth. Uh, but they have all sorts of wonderful fall produce. They have meats, cheeses, uh, New York wine, uh, seafood, uh, baked goods, uh, you know, ecologically correct uh, products, um, really beautiful knitwear, uh, sheepskin products uh, from knitters. Uh, it's just an amazing place to visit. You could spend half the day there. We very well might. And there's also a wonderful store uh, nearby, uh, an Italian store called Agata and Valentina, which I will point out on that particular day, which has wonderful Italian specialties. But we'll spend some time over a little Italy in Chinatown on that day too. So you'll be able to get in a full range of a great variety of styles. And the Union Square Green Market is great. It, it's a great bustling, hustling place. And uh, I think you'll very, very much enjoy that. Um, on June 4th, uh, which is a Sunday, uh, we'll be visiting New York City for my annual trip to the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Uh, the Met is the granddaddy of museums in New York City, and it is just a fabulous museum which, uh, which has an ongoing collection. The permanent collection is among the finest in the world and ranks among the greatest museums in the world, and I enjoy it thoroughly. I enjoy visiting uh, collections I've seen before, and also the new exhibits they have coming up are also very interesting. The tours they have are extensive. Uh, the general tours are, ex are extensive, and also they have specialized tours of the European paintings and the Asian art area uh, in the afternoon, so you can pick and choose and take many tours and spend some time. Uh, it takes about a week to do a highlights tour at the Met, but I point out some great uh, places such as the Temple of Dendur and the Egyptian Gallery, which is re really well worth visiting. And it's a very peaceful and serene place in a busy, bustling Saturday at the museum. They have amongst the finest Asian art in the world. They have the largest collection of Monet's outside of Paris. The Greco-Roman collection on the first floor is extraordinary. And they cover over 5,000 years from every period of history in every part of the world. So you're sure to see uh, American contemporary, you'll see photography, modern art. Um, we'll see a, a really a, amazing view of uh, art from all centuries and uh, all places of the world. Uh, so that is on June 4th. On June 24th, uh, we'll be visiting one of my favorite spots, which is the Newport Flower Show in uh, Newport, Rhode Island. Uh, there is a show that the Preservation Society of Newport County, which runs the flower show, uh, runs in this year. There is a French theme. Uh, they always put on a very, very nice program at the, the, the flower show. And uh, what they do is they have outdoor exhibits. They have indoor exhibits. It is a juried show, so there, so there will be judging. There's also beautiful uh, upscale vendors and seminars that they have every single day that they run the show. And uh, this is, I think, about our 15th year of going, which is really wonderful. So I hope you can come to that. And what we also entail on this trip is uh, there is time on your own in the Newport Wharf area. And I give you some uh, a listing of there is a uh, Newport Museum of, uh, of History right in the Brickwalk 
area that you may visit uh, while you have your time on your own. And there's also wonderful shops there, wonderful restaurants. Um, it's a great little town to visit. I call it very visitable, very walkable. Uh, you could take the shuttle around uh, to other sites that you would like to visit that day. Uh, you can take a walk along the Cliff Walk, which is right outside the, the mansions. And it's just a great, great time to spend um, outside uh, in Newport that day. So it would make it very easy for you. And also also on Bellevue Avenue, which is the main street of Newport, uh, there is also an International Tennis Hall of Fame, uh, which you can also visit uh, during your free time. And I know there's one aficionado on my trips who comes every year and does that. And uh, this is one of my, uh, what I call, I've, I've had a lot of regulars come to Newport with me because they enjoy it as much as I do. So we'll be offering that again this year and I expect a full bus which is great. So it's great to sign up for these in advance uh, so that you make sure that you have a spot and we make it very easy for you, give a, as much information as possible for the trips. Um, and on July 1st, um, I do my annual trip to the Statue of Liberty in Ellis Island. And what we do is we board the ferry um, at Battery Park and we visit Lady Liberty and we have tickets to visit the museum at the base of the statue. And I think uh, especially um, this year, it, is, it will be an extraordinary trip uh, to visit Lady Liberty and to uh, have some great information about the immigrant experience and the immigrant past. Uh, it is said that 40% of Americans are descended from those who came from Ellis Island. So either your father or your grandfather came through Ellis Island and it is an important symbol of international symbol of freedom. It is a great day out on the waterfront and there is an amazing immigrant wall of honor where you can uh, make a donation and put your family name on there, whether you're immigrants or not. Uh, they are now in the process of refurbishing, renovating the hospital on the grounds and they will be offering tours um, on a regular basis on that. So through their foundation, uh, they are uh, alive and well and thriving and vibrant. So it is a great trip. Um, I have many folks uh, who have come with me to the statue over the years who have been there for the first time. And that makes it very, very special for me to bring people. I've had folks who have been through Ellis Island uh, come on the trip and have shared their uh, wonderful experiences with us and this great country of ours that we live in. Very important in these times uh, to understand uh, where we're from and to understand that we are um, we're all from somewhere else and uh, we, we need to celebrate that and this will give you an opportunity to really uh, feel, you know, walk through the hall, the great hall where your ancestors came through and uh, have a great tour. The National Park Service does an amazing job of tours. Uh, you will have an audio guide included in this tour and there's also tours on both islands. So you may visit in one day, uh, you may visit both Liberty and Ellis Islands thoroughly and thoroughly enjoy uh, the experience. We hope you do, uh, it's a very special trip. Um, the other trip we have coming up in um, the summertime is we are a baseball program and uh, both our Farmington and West Hartford program is dedicated every year to doing special ball games. And this year, we will be visiting Yankee Stadium to see the Red Sox play the Yankees. And we have really excellent seats for this trip. And we have, um, uh, as I say, multi-generational father, son, grandfather come to the trip on a regular basis. And this is our, our passion. This is our, this is our sport and uh, we're really looking forward to it. This, the, the sign up for this is going quick. So if, I were, if you were interested, I'd say sign up as soon as possible to book your trip, make sure you don't lose out. Uh, this is a very, very um, special rivalry, is, is the, amongst the finest, if not the finest rivalry in sports. And we will, uh, we will have a new chapter next year with uh, new players, new faces, uh, but really a great time. There is time on the trip, we, we arrive so that you can visit. Uh, there's a fabulous Yankees Museum um, in, the, in the park, and also, of course, there's Monument Park out in center field. So um, I think baseball fans appreciate this park, and it's a lovely park to play. Um, it is a place with modern amenities and an, really an old-fashioned feel, which is, which is terrific. So um, I hope you can come. Uh, you know, we, uh, we enjoy every trip that we take to all of our games um, every single year. On October 8th, uh, this is something brand spanking new. We are uh, visiting New York for the New York Chocolate Show. Uh, 
This is a trip that we had done at a previous venue until a couple of years ago. And this is something brand new and it will be in the Chelsea neighborhood of New York. And they will have chocolatiers from all over New York. Um, we have uh, advanced tickets that we're going to be purchasing in February. So we'll be have more information online and um, the next catalog that comes out. Uh, we'll have more information, but you can certainly call the program or call me, and I will up -to -date you, update you on any information that I have uh, about the show. This will be on October 8th. It will be a Sunday. We will be um, sampling some of the best chocolate and getting educational seminars included in as part of our admission. And also, um, the contact I have with the Chocolate Show mentioned that there will be seminars that you can pay for also on your own. Um, in addition to your, you know, registration for your trip. So if you're especially interested in a particular uh, part of chocolate history, a uh, particular chocolate, uh, we'll share that information with you in advance so that you can arrange for that on your own. So that is uh, something brand new and special. Uh, um, I, I love chocolate and uh, I, I recall the chocolate fans we had on our previous trip and I'm very, very eager to go back to, uh, to New York to do that. Uh, so that will take care of most of the fall. And what we'll also do is in December, uh, we do these trips on a regular basis on the first Saturday of December. We will be visiting New York for a day on your own. This is very, very popular, books very, very fast. Uh, we come back at a especially late time, nine o'clock, so that will enable you, if you wanted to go to a Broadway show, uh, go to museums, spend an extra time with friends, uh, family there. Um, just really enjoy the New York um, holiday experience, Rockefeller Center. Uh, the tree will be up and uh, be lit by then. Uh, you'll have a, what we call a shop to you drop day. It's the busiest shopping day in Manhattan in the entire year. So you'll be able to do that on that particular day. So please do come join us. And also the Thursday after that, uh, we have the Radio City trip, which we visit on a annual basis. I believe this year is our 15th year we'll be visiting Radio City. We have wonderful orchestra seats and we will be uh, joining um, Farmington Continuing Ed for all of our trips for that and that is uh, coming up uh, that is in our catalog presently and all these trips are online so you can certainly show uh, show your interest in a wonderful holiday show, bring, bring the family, uh, bring kids for the first time is very special. Um, it is someone uh, there's always some folks who have never been, which is very, very special. So we give uh, you time to have a bit of lunch before the show, and then uh, we enjoy the show, and then we return home. So I wanted to also share also, again, the name, number for registration for West Hartford is 860-561-6900, and you can call them to register. You can register in person. You can register online at whlifelearn.org. Uh, you can register with an account um, that you come up with online. You can do that and uh, you will be registered uh, right away. Uh, we'd like to uh, have these buses full and full of happy travelers uh, very early. So you can certainly do that. And also, uh, how are, um, if we have a trip uh, which has a wait list, uh, if you are calling and it happens to be full, it just as a, a matter of policy, um, what we do is we put your name on a wait list and if someone is not able to come, we call you right away to register you to make sure that you have the best opportunity possible to come on the trip. So I have to say that a wait list with our program really does work. And between our West Harft and Farmington programs, um, we work hand in hand and we also, um, you know, have, have a, a, a lovely, a lovely uh, staff there that will take care of you there also. So uh, please rest assured that you're in very, very good hands when you register with our program. So um, with that, um, I will sign off and thank you so much for um, listening today. Again, my number is 860-305-8762. My email is toursbydesign at gmail.com. And you can call the program, leave your number for me to call you if you do not have that on hand. But please feel free to call me with any question. And I also welcome from you, I've had some great tips about things that are worth doing for uh, both the programs um, in the past. So please keep any ideas coming. 
uh, about, I think, places that you'd like to visit. And I think it will really work out for um, always looking for new places to uh, visit and enjoy. And uh, you're, you're most welcome to do that. So uh, again, thank you very much for listening and uh, look forward to seeing you on the road and call with any questions whatsoever. And thanks to uh, the community television for, for sponsoring this, uh, this program for me. Thank you.